Well, we can do exactly the same thing with our rock here. Starting from our calcium carbonate and heating this up, we can drive out the carbon dioxide and leave behind calcium oxide. And we have a lump down here that we heated up overnight a few days ago. It looks just like the rock that we have here. Okay, it's a little bit different. I'll just get that to mark. We've driven out the carbon dioxide from this, and it's no longer calcium carbonate, but instead it's calcium oxide. This behaves very, very differently from calcium carbonate. Well, of course, whenever water falls on calcium carbonate, watch what happens. We get wet calcium carbonate. <laughs> now, this is very important. I mean, because we build many of our buildings from calcium carbonate, this limestone here. And it would be terrible if that reacts with water, because every time it rained, our buildings would wash away. But watch what happens when calcium oxide reacts with water. So I'm just going to pour some water onto the rock here that's actually now calcium oxide, not calcium carbonate. Okay, I've just poured some water on. Steam is being generated. <laughs> and the heat from this reaction is causing the rock to completely crack and fall to pieces. It's disintegrating. In fact, if I give it a little poke, Actually, with, with my stick here, it's falling to pieces. Let's add some more water. And this calcium oxide is one of the key ingredients in cement. So actually, when you see the cement factories, what they're doing is heating up calcium carbonate, <laughs> and it's uh, driving out the, uh, the carbon dioxide, and forming calcium oxide. This is one of the key ingredients in cement. And it's this slow reaction of the calcium oxide here with uh, water and carbon dioxide reforming our calcium carbonate that uh, helps the cement set. Okay. This is so reactive, it's generating an awful lot of heat during this process, and that's causing the water to boil around here, and is, we can see the steam that's coming out of this reaction. Okay. The chemical equation for this, the process that we have here, we have calcium oxide reacting with water to form calcium hydroxide. And the white powder that we have left here, this crumbly white powder, sometimes called slaked lime, is now calcium hydroxide. Well, I can make this in another way as well, starting from pure calcium. 